Hello, today we are going to take a look at the problem that I've got with the goal zero and the possible solution. So as you can see, I've got two devices. I've got a hot glue pistol and I've got over here a lunchbox. Both of this device as you would expect, they do not require a large amount of power. This is a 40 watt lunchbox. But if I'm going to connect this to a 100 watt inverter, let's connect this. Okay, I'm going to just plug it in and I'm going, let's see, can you see the display? Yes, of course, I'm going to power it on. And as you can see, we've got exceeded 100 watt and the device lock itself. So a very good question would be why? Because this is a 40 what device and this is not a inductive load this is not a motor so there is a no like magnetic field that is going to need to be built that will take a extremely high current in rush like a transformer or a motor and it's quite more simple because this device is yeah, it's kind of a resistive load, but this is a PTC element. What does it mean? I'm not sure if you are familiar with a polyfuse. Polyfuse is a fuse that when it's warmed up, the resistance is going higher and it preventing the current flow, or maybe the better way of saying that is it limiting the current flow so it stay constantly warm and limit the current so this device is a ptc heater and it is in a state that is locking itself as this 40 watt so they have a preset temp and if they reach the temp the resistance will go high and they are going to self-limit the current to stay on exactly the same temp and we can see this on this device this is also a ptc element but this is a like a good company and you've got information that this is 200 watt but this is when it's completely cold but as soon as it warm up it's going to in this mode of of just self heating to the exactly the preset temp for the manufacturer and it's going to take only a 16 watt which is something that you would expect from heater of this size so if i'm going to connect this unit to the sherpa of course it will be exactly the the same even that if that looks like a 16 watt it's going to lock itself because the resistance is uh, very low and it passing quite a large amount of power so question is can we do something on this or we are not going to be able to warm up our meal on or hot glue something and the answer is yes and the answer is very cheap we need something like this this is a light dimmer i've got this from ikea as you can see it's rated only for 150 watt but looks like for a quick period of time I've got no problem with running both of these devices. So what does it 
though we can limit the input power for that couple of minutes or seconds depending on the application and as soon as it warm up and start to start to building up the resistance we can we can remove this from the circuit and connect directly or we can just uh, go to the full power and everything will be fine so let's do that experiment so first of all i'm grabbing my hot gun and i'm connecting it to the output and i'm connecting input to that place i'm going to power it on i'm switching on my inverter and now i'm going to start increasing the power so right now it's off and i'm slowly going click and as you can see right now it's taking a five watt but we can safely go to at least a 100 as you can see now we are taking a 20 watt it let's go more as you can see we've got almost yeah maybe i will take a little bit down i put uh, too much power into this we don't want to okay and as you can see i have ability to control the output power and we are going to left it for a second or maybe a couple of minutes i don't know and the power output should start going down because the element is going to warm up and as soon as will be dropping enough i can connect this directly so i'm not sure if we can do that on camera or should i pause this because i didn't try it but it must working so maybe i will leave it like that So right now I'm on full power and as you can see it's still dropping and I'm pretty sure that I can unplug it. And I can connect it directly. And as you can see it's working just fine connected directly and the power is dropping and we are going to see eventually that 16 watt so yes this is how you can plug something that is a ptc with a very high inrush current just by using this very cheap dimmer circuit but let's try to to do our food warmer because that was my main goal i wanted to be able to warm up 
my meal. So this is the, the plate. We are going to put this. I'm going to stuff my food just like that. And we are going to close it down. And we've got exactly the same problem that I showed you before. So I'm going to connect it in between. I'm going to the lowest possible value. I'm going to hook it up to the inverter. I'm going to turn on the inverter. Does it turn on? Yes. And now I'm going to slowly increase the power. As you can see, the power is rising. And we can safely go to that 100 watt. Maybe. No, that's too much. That's too much. I don't want to lock itself. Of course, this is just an example. You can use a different kind of PWM switcher. But I believe I can cut this wire and make it shorter. So it can go into my backpack, just in case when I need. And I'm going to left it for a while. When I see the power dropping, I'm going to connect this directly and then we are going to left it for like uh, 30 minutes and I'm going to check if that meal is good to eat. So this is the experiment, the agenda for today, warming up my meal using the Sherpa. And yes, I know that warming up meal using the electric power storage battery, this is the worst possible case, but there are places where you cannot have a open flame or even a, a enclosed one. So this is for that type of case. And you can of course power this from a solar panel in winter and it can be really nice. So maybe I will increase the power a little bit if we can. because it dropped too much. Okay, let's take a look, what's the power? You see, I'm on the max power and we are taking a 53 watts. I decided to do a little bit of camera adjustment. We are on full power. And as you can see, it's taking as close as we can get to the 45 watts. I believe that was on the back plate or 40 watts. I do not recall that right now. And I'm going to leave it, leave it like that for uh, 30 minutes and we are going to check does our food is good to go so The bad news is that recording died. I've got no idea why, but we are after 30 minutes 
and as you can see everything is working just fine we are pulling 45 watts and it's time to try and check does our food is warm and okay to eat so i'm going to power it off and we are going quickly take a look and we are going to take a look at at the meat because this is what have to be hot inside and it is and it's steaming a little bit i'm not sure if you can see that on camera but yes looks very nice so this is the idea if you would like to use devices like this that's the solution very cheap very easily and i hope you find that interesting and i save you a lot of headache if you're trying to run something that is rated for 40 watts and it doesn't work on a 100 watt inverter thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye